Hi, friends. Today, we will talk about vertebrate animals. Do you know which ones they are? Vertebrates are animals that have an articulated internal skeleton. This skeleton supports the body and allows them to move. Vertebrates are classified into five groups, mammals, birds, fish, amphibians, and reptiles. Oh, you guys caught me dancing this dance. I think I've got the hang of it. So I will show you another day because today I have come to talk to you about a group of vertebrates, mammals. Do you know what kind of animals these are? No, that's what I'm here for. Mammals are viviparous animals, meaning they are born from their mother's womb. Mothers have mammary glands that give milk to feed their young. Inside their mouth, they have teeth to chew their food. Mammals breathe through their lungs. They are warm-blooded animals. And the majority of them have hair covering their bodies. They can live on land, in the water, and some can even fly. And now, some fun facts about mammals. The biggest mammal is the blue whale. It can measure up to 30 meters long. A little more than a basketball court. Oh! A horse is another mammal. Did you know that its teeth don't stop growing throughout its whole life? And here you have another mammal. What? Where is it? It's me! We humans are also mammals. Well, I am going to keep practicing my dance. See you later! Hey guys! Are you ready to learn a few things about animals? Ah, ah, animals, animals! Hey, don't repeat what I say. Ma, ma, say, say! Oh, always the same. Well guys, today we are going to talk about another group of vertebrate animals, birds. <coughs> birds, birds. Birds are oviparous animals, which means they are born from eggs. They walk with two legs and they have two wings that allow them to fly. Although, there are some birds like the ostrich and penguin that don't fly, even though they have wings. The bird skeleton is light because their bones are hollow. Birds can breathe thanks to their lungs. And they are warm-blooded. They eat with their beak that has no teeth. Ugh. Their body is covered in feathers. Did you know that the heaviest bird in the world is the ostrich? No wonder it can't fly, poor thing. A bird that can fly is the eagle. Incredible. Ma, ma. Incredible, incredible. You again? Watch what happens if I catch you. Hello, hello. How are you, mateys? Not one is biting. Well, later I will continue because today I am going to talk to you about another group of vertebrate animals, fish. Fish are aquatic animals that can live in fresh water or salt water. They are oviparous meaning they are born from eggs. They have fins to move around the water and they have a tail at the end of their bodies, helping them to swim easily. As you can see, their bodies are covered in scales. Because they are aquatic animals, they breathe through their gills. They are cold-blooded animals, which means their body temperature varies depending on the water temperature.
and they have a simpler skeleton than other vertebrates. Did you know that there are fish like salmon and eel that travel all the way from areas of salt water to areas of fresh water? What a trip! And that is all about fish. Oh, I think I've got something. See you later. How's it going, guys? Today we are going to talk about... Oh, I had a frog on my head and you didn't even tell me. That was scary. Well, today I have come to talk to you guys about another group of vertebrate animals, amphibians. Amphibians are oviparous animals, which mean they are born from eggs. The babies are born in the water and breathe through their gills. When they grow up, they can live on land or in the water and breathe through their lungs and skin. Their skin is moist and they don't need hair. They are cold-blooded animals, which means their body temperature varies depending on the air temperature. Did you know that amphibians are the only vertebrates that are born with a tail and live in the water? When they get bigger, they grow four legs and live on land. This change is known as metamorphosis. That's everything about amphibians, friends. I hope you guys liked it. I'm going to stay here with my new friend. See you later. Hi, friends. Today we are going to talk about another group of vertebrates. Today we will talk about... Oh, it almost got me. Today we will talk about reptiles. Reptiles are oviparous animals, meaning they're born from eggs. Their bodies are covered in hard scales. Their legs are really short. Actually, some don't even have legs, like snakes. Some reptiles have a shell, like a turtle. Good morning, turtle. They are cold-blooded animals, which means their body temperature varies depending on the air temperature. They breathe through their lungs. They usually live in warm places. Did you know that reptiles live longer than any other animal? Some, like turtles, can live up to a hundred years. That's all about reptiles. Ah, I hope you guys liked it. Ah, I'm going to get going. I don't think I'm welcome here. Ah, help! Which vertebrate did you like most? Leave a comment below and tell us about it. Oh. Don't forget to click on the seal to subscribe to our Smile and Learn YouTube channel.